everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and this is... Pet McDonald. And we're here to play Imperial Settlers. Which, if you don't know how to play, we have a tutorial for it, and you'll find that in the description below. But we've set up, we're ready to get started. I am controlling the barbaric hordes. And I am the Romans. The Romans with their fancy buildings and roads and aqueducts and stuff. It's pronounced aqueduct. <laughs> aqueduct? Oh yeah, because ducks? you probably don't know this, but oh. aqueducts were originally made from ducks. Just like the Romans be talking down on the barbarians. Listen, we, we just like to be close to nature, we like things natural, and we like all your stuff and we're going to come take it. <laughs> so, I, we're all set up here, we're ready to go. Let's, let's get into this, shall let's we? Let's do it. Let's start with the lookout phase. So to start this phase, we both drew a card from our faction deck, and we determined randomly that I would be the first player. We also drew three cards from the common deck. Of which you'll get first choice. Well, Mama's Baths here and the village will both produce workers, which I'm interested in, but barbarians hate baths, so I'm gonna take the village. So Pep gets to pick one of these, then the other one is discarded. The Roman Empire is large enough, I don't need any more people. I'm just gonna grab Mondi the Merchant. So this one goes away and we can set out three new cards. So now we've got the Pig Farmer, the Acting Troop, and the Mason's Guild. But this time, Pep gets to pick first. I like the way you said acting troop. Why? Because it sounds like they're an acting troop. Like, <laughs> like they're army? a troop of people, yeah. <laughs> I'm invasion? almost tempted to take that one just for that reason. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with the Mason's Guild. We have a lot of stone structure in Rome. Well, we have a lot of mud puddles in the barbarian tribe, so we're gonna be the pig farmers. And the acting troop will just have to take their performance somewhere else. It's technically the production phase, but Pep and I have already performed that. You can see we've produced all the items that we get from our faction. Why are yours so neat? Listen, we're barbarians, but we take pride in our appearance, okay? Apparently. And that's one thing we get, is a lot of workers as barbarians, and not much else. Whereas you start out with at least one stone and one wood. So I'm gonna go out and gather some resources if I need them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do first. Using the action down here at the bottom of my board, which is the same, at the bottom of Pep's, I can trade in two of my workers, I'm gonna send them off to the forests, and they're gonna gather me some wood. And that's it for me, over to you, Romans. All right, I'm gonna start off very warlike. I'm not too worried, Pep. I don't have very much built up here for you to take. That's true. I'm actually just gonna raise a card for my hand. So I'm gonna use up this sword already. Oh, you're going to war on yourself. Yes, indeed. I lied about that Mason's Guild. I don't actually need it. So you're stripping it for parts. That's right. And it's gonna give you, as shown up here in the corner, one stone and one coin. And the coin can be used in place of stone, tomatoes, or wood. I think they're apples. I think you're right. <laughs> It might actually be apples. Tomatoes are fruit though. Well, it's back over to my turn. And I'm gonna put that wood that we collected to good use. I'm gonna spend it to construct the beginnings of a barbarian village. And this tells me that I get a production of one worker and a building bonus of one worker. Well, with the Mason's Guild gone, I think I'm just gonna pop this ruins into play to represent it. And what do you get in the wreckage of that Mason's building? Well, there was a mason left in there, so I am going to get a building bonus of one worker. Okay, so we'll give you the, the poor mason, and it's back over to me. Well, I'm going to send another two of my barbarians back into the forest, and they're going to collect some additional wood for me. Building a lot of structures out of wood, are we? We'll see. Well, I'm going to be taking an opposite approach and building quite a few things out of stone, starting with this castle. All right, now this is an action. What does it let you do? It lets me spend a worker to draw a card, and I can use it twice. Now you might have noticed my workers have been heading out to get lots and lots of wood. Well, that's going to get easier because they've discovered a primeval forest. This cost me one wood, but it's going to produce two. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using a lot of stone, but I don't have any way to produce it, so I need to make a deal. Uh, but to make a deal, Pep, you need to have a tomato, and you don't have one of those. It's apple, and I do. <laughs> right, <laughs> sorry, it's an apple. Oh yes, right, of course, you have the, uh, the coin here. So you're going to spend this as a tomapple? A tomapple, indeed. And I will slide this Colossus under my board into the deal section. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so we can see there's a stone peeking out here. and That means you gain a stone right away, and you'll also gain a new one during each production phase. Perfect. One day in the barbarian village, along came an imperial messenger. And he had something he wanted to tell us, but we didn't bother to listen to him. Instead, <laughs> we attacked him. So I'm gonna raise this card, which is gonna give me one worker and one gold coin. Of course, you find some way to attack me, even when I'm not there. 
Listen, we don't care what you have to say. I was offering peace. I brought Tim apples. I think maybe something was lost in translation there. We don't quite understand your language yet. That explains the tomato thing. <laughs> yeah, it might. All right, Pep, well, now it's your turn. I'm going to make this easy. I don't really like what I have in my hand right now, so I'm going to spend one of my workers at the castle in order to draw a new card. And this card can be either a common one or a faction card. It's up to you, Pep. I chose to draw a common one. Well, now that we have a nice steady supply of wood from our forest, I'm going to send out two of my workers, and they're going to go find some stone, again, using this action here at the bottom. Hey, did you take that from me? Listen, Pep, the rock supply is for anyone to take from. Fair. I didn't quite get what I wanted last time, so again, I'm going to spend a worker at the castle in order to draw a card. Which type do you want to take this time? Still choosing common. Well, Pep has a growing hand, and mine is shrinking. I think I have some lazy barbarians, because they get tired of going out and collecting things. We got a forest producing wood for us. Now we're going to have a stone pit to produce some stones. So this is going to cost me a stone, which I have here, and then I also have to throw out one of my other buildings. I'm going to toss out this one and put this in its place. That's a barbarian building. Uh, right, you are. So it's not actually going to go on this side. It's going to go on this side here, and it will produce for me a stone, and a sword. It's important that it's over there too, because now I can't destroy it. Yeah, that's a good point to bring out. Your opponent can only destroy or raise your common side buildings, nothing that's built on the faction side of your board. All right, well, this ruins is just too much of an eyesore for me. Time to clean it up. That's right. So following suit with you, I'm going to be building this garden. That's going to cost you a stone and a wood, and you also have to get rid of one of your other buildings. The ruins are gone. They were already ruined anyway. What does this garden do for you? Anytime I build a red building, it gives me two points. You just built a red building. Does it work that way? It does. You get two points right away. So on the score track here, Pep is going to gain two points, putting him in the lead. Remember that pig farmer I picked up earlier? Well, we're going to get him working here in the Barbarian Village, and this is going to cost me two of my wood. And then as an action, I can spend a worker and apparently an apple in order to gain two points. I pass. Oh, I suppose you are running out of things here, aren't you? Indeed. I don't have any production buildings. So now I can just take my actions in sequence. I'm going to send out two of my workers, and they're going to go out and gather some stone. And then I'm going to spend the stone along with this coin, pretending the coin is a wood, in order to erect this statue. Don't want you to think that we aren't cultured in our own way, Pep. This is a feature with a building bonus that says I gain a victory point for every gray building that I have in my empire. I only have one, the statue itself. So I'll give myself one point. And then additionally, I get to draw one card. This wouldn't have been a bad thing to do later in the game when I had more gray buildings. Could have been a way to grab a bunch of points. But I decide to do it now. And I'm going to draw a common building for my additional card. And that will end my turn too. Pep, I pass. Well, it's every barbarian's least favorite time. Bath time? It's, well, basically, it's cleanup time. <laughs> so we have to wash away all of the goods that we have on any of our cards and things. Right. Anything you didn't use, you lose. Wow, quite literally, I think some of those are now lost forever. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of the turn, we pass over the first player token, so you're going first now. And at the start of a round, it's the lookout phase. Look so, out! Look out! <laughs> we each get to take a faction card, which we'll draw. And then we'll put out three of these common cards, and Pep, you will get Ooh. the first picks. Let's go to the table and see what your options are. I think it's time for war. I've been hearing a lot of talk of war coming out of you. What do you want to do to help support your war efforts? I'm looking for this armorer. That will allow you to produce one sword once you buy it. I've got two options here that can both provide me with stone, but I think I'm going to go with this quarry. So we'll discard the above ground mine. I get first pick from these three, and I know that after a long day of gathering wood and gathering rocks, my barbarians are going to want a nice drink. So I'm going to pick up this tavern. I seem to have a liking for broken structures. Well, you do such a nice job repairing them. Fair point. So I'll be picking up these ruins again. And that ends the lookout phase. Well, we've done our production, and each of us are starting with more things once again because we have some production buildings that are adding to the stuff that you always start with. Yep, I get one more stone than before. Oh, that's all you've got, isn't it? It's just off of this, right? Well, you know what they say, Rome wasn't built in one round. <laughs> No, it wasn't. So you've got five rounds to build your Rome. What do you want to do in the second round? I feel like seven cards in hand isn't enough. So I'm going to spend two of my what? workers at the same time <laughs> okay. to draw two more. And you can decide how you want to do these. You want two faction cards, two common cards, one of each? I will do one of each. Okay, I'm going to straighten out Rome here. It looks like it got tilted a bit. Pep, you've talked about war a couple of times already, but I think I'll perform the first act of aggression. I am going to spend two of my swords, which is the cost required to raise an opponent's building, so I'm going to take out your castle. This will not be forgotten. Oh, I'm sure of that. 
So these two we can just remove. I get the reward listed here, which is two cards. I'm gonna take two of my faction cards into my hand. And then this gets flipped over, which means you can use it when you're building one of your faction buildings. I also get one wood. That's right, so we'll add this here, and that ends my turn. Well, what do you know? I was planning on redesigning my castle anyway. So maybe we don't have to think of this as an act of war. The Barbarians came over and they, they helped out. You don't have to, like, get retribution later. Oh no, there will be retribution. <laughs> I thought they were. What are, you, uh, what are you constructing? I'm building a Roman fortress. Oh, that sounds even more formidable than the castle that I destroyed. I know, it'll cost me my two stone as well as that building that you just destroyed. And this one says each time you build a black building, you get two points. And look what I just did. Yeah, you just built a black building. So two more points for Pep, and I'm falling behind. I also noticed that we didn't move the round marker, so I'll put us down here on round two because the game ends at the end of round five. Well, there's one thing these barbarians have been good at so far, it's producing things. I'm gonna do some more of that by building this quarry. I suppose you don't really build a quarry, you kind of dig it out of the ground. <laughs> this is gonna cost me a wood and a stone, and then it's gonna produce one stone and give me a building bonus of one more stone. Back over to you, Pep. My turn's pretty simple. I'm just gonna build another one of these ruins. That one has no cost at all. It's free, and it also gives me a building bonus of one worker. One thing I'm not producing are the tomatoes. So I'm gonna send out two of my barbarian vikings to go find Vikings? When did they become vikings? Barbarian vikings at that. <laughs> I've tried to upgrade my workers here. I don't think that's allowed. I'm gonna send out two of my barbarian workers and they're gonna collect this apple. Did I call that a tomato just a second ago? Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> I'm not gonna break that habit easily. All right, that ends my turn though. Well, I'm running out of options quick, so I'm gonna have to spend my sword in order to raise a card from my hand. That's good old Monty the Merchant from the first round. I really hoped I'd get to play that. Instead, you seem to have just chopped into bits. Yeah, it's gonna give me a coin and a stone. Well, sounds like it was worth it. I said earlier I did not have enough pineapples coming into my barbarian tribe, so I'm going to make a deal by spending this pineapple, tomato, apple, whatever it is, <laughs> so I can create a deal which will give me future fruits, okay? Fruits. Future fruits, I like it. So much that I'm going to do something similar. Except, I immediately get the benefit of this deal, so I'm gonna get a pineapple tomato fruit thing right now. Oh, you just do infinite deals this way. That's my hope. My barbarians are wheeling and dealing. Well, just like you, I'm gonna have to find a way to get an app potato, so. <laughs> app, app potato? That's good. I'm gonna have to trade a coin in. So I'm gonna be spending a coin and a wood in order to build this grain field. Oh, this is a feast, Pep. You've yeah. Got loads of them. I got two grapes from that. Pep's created his own little home variant. He's putting his production right on the card itself, I see. I figured they have to be planted in the field. They're not ripe yet. <laughs> okay, Pep, that's fine. We'll let it go. It's my turn now. Well, now that my barbarian tribe has proved itself at being good at making deals, we're gonna do another one here. So I have to spend a tomato and I'm gonna turn this one into a deal as well. And this will allow me to gain another worker, which I'll take right now and add to my supply. Speaking of workers, I didn't plant that grain field for no reason. I'm trying to raise an army. If that's a grain field, why are there tomatoes growing in it? You Romans are terrible at growing grain. They're apples. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, right, they're apples. Gosh, I cannot <laughs> keep that straight. I'm sorry, everyone. I know this is driving you crazy. Pep, what are you trying to do here? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I've totally thrown you off your course. It's the barbarian strategy. Chaos. So I'm gonna spend one of these grapples. Okay. <laughs> Grain apples. As well as break down my ruins in order to build a barracks. And Pep, that's gonna let you produce right away two workers. A boop boop. Two Roman soldiers, if you will. That apple's ripe now. Very good. Why is it that my side looks so messy? You think <laughs> I was a barbarian? No, no, you just, your stuff's just going all over the place. This is maybe a, a little better. Uh, I don't know. Come visit, we'll teach you a thing or two about cleaning up. Well, I think we'll stop here. Our civilizations are well on their way to some, some kind of success, I think. I have a lot of resources in front of me and some cards to play. Pep, you do as well, actually. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better this round than last time. I think by now you'd passed already last round. Yeah, I won't be passing quite so early <laughs> okay. this time. Well, I'm gonna get your help over here on the barbarian side for this turn. I'll show you what I have in my hand. You can look at my growing civilization here. And you can think, well, what does Rodney wanna do next? And even sort of think ahead towards the rest of this round. How else am I gonna use the things in my hand to the best effect? Put your suggestion in the comments below if you like what someone says. Give them a thumbs up. If you don't like it, propose your own suggestion, whichever one gets the most votes. That's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.